we are not able to operate with the remote because the vacuum pump is removed right now. So I, I hope we fixed it. Now I'm gonna open the trunk with this key. You can open it just manually. Now we need to remove everything, like all the covers to get access to the hydrolyzing pump. We're gonna remove the hydrolyzing pump. We're gonna move it to the side and we'll have access to the to install the vacuum pump. Now we're going to take out all the covers. We're going to remove this cover. We can remove this thing. Now we can remove the spare tire. To have more room. This is our hydraulic pump. Now we're gonna remove one, two, three, four nuts. We're gonna remove this plug. We're gonna remove the connector. I'm gonna attach it with this piece of rubber from here. I'm gonna touch the hydraulic pump, so it's gonna hold it to the side. And on the bottom under it goes the vacuum pump that we are going to install right now. But first we're gonna tighten these three bolts on the pump and after we're gonna install it on the car. Let's remove the hydraulic pump now. Mm. Dealer de bani. Dealer de bani. Dealer de bani. Dealer de bani. Dealer Two connectors and the lines to go into the vacuum pump. Let's go to assembly the vacuum pump. Now we're going to let me run. To insert back these three bolts. One, two, three. Let's tighten them back. They're holding the vacuum pump assembly inside. It doesn't allow it to move freely. Make sure it's tight, but don't over tight it because it's plastic, so it's very easy to break it. Our pump is assembled. This is how it looks. So now we're gonna install it back on the car. This, this bracket goes on the bottom, it's connected, I didn't connect any wires, so I'm gonna just connect it directly here. It, it goes just only in one place. You know, we got air filter, it goes here, it's connected. Here goes the, the air line, this one, that is going to the trunk, as you can see it's going to the rear of the car. And here we have one more line that is going to the front of the vehicle. So now I'm going to connect them and insert it back on the block. The tape was just to mark it, so now let's install it. We're gonna install it back on the control model. I was able to hear that click. So I 
Action edición especial de Britain on the top of a tranquil airline like this. So now we're gonna now we're gonna connect the the wiring harness. As you can see, as long as the fuse is, is installed in the behind the passenger seat, while I was connected to this connector, it was blowing the fuse. So we will try to connect it. And we'll see what it's gonna do right now. The pump is connected. I'm gonna install it back in its place. gonna connect this connector back actually I'm gonna check the fuse first now let's go in the car and check the fuse box this is our fuse I'm gonna remove it to see if it's blown or not I guess it should be good now Oh, actually it's melted from yesterday. A new fuse, this is 20 amps. So I'm gonna insert it to see if it's gonna blow the fuse again or not. If it's not gonna blow it, then that was our problem. So the chava? Yeah, I heard the noise in the trunk. The fuse is connected, it's not blowing now. So let's go in the trunk to see what's going on. Don't we solve it? The vacuum pump did a self, a self test. It means that it's working. The fuse is okay. So now we're gonna put everything back together. Now we're gonna insert the hydraulic pump back. I'm gonna put it back in its place. The hydraulic pump is back. Now we're gonna connect this connector back. It slides on this bracket on the side. It's good. Now we're gonna tighten these four nuts. Also, don't forget from time to time to check the oil level, hydraulic oil inside the pump. As you can see, it's half of it. So, from time to time, you need to check it because sometimes the cylinders can have the hydraulic oil leak. I'm gonna remove the top back because I'm not able to get to the last stud to insert the, the nut. So, I'm gonna move it to the side. Like this is gonna be easier. The nut is in place. Now we're gonna tighten it. connected the plug is back now we can put everything back in the trunk you can do a test but I know it's gonna work this is our spare tire Cleaning too, but it's gonna be later. I just wanna check if everything is good. So, I'll do one more thing. Yeah. 
something. This thing goes somewhere here. Check if the remote is working or not. My fellow man, you can come here. As you can see, it's an issue. As you can see, right now the remote control is working. It's locking. It's unlocking. Let's check the trunk. What's that, Mr. $3,000 problem and two nights without sleep. That's it. And with this more three. Tick. It's in my bra. As you can hear, I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna leave it down. And it's pulling it down and closing all the way. Now we're gonna check if the roof is gonna open or not. Probably this was the problem related to the roof too. Let's test it. Oh, actually, let me check one more thing. But first, we're gonna check. We're gonna check this because these buttons weren't working too. Yes, you can see they are working too. Hop, hop, closed, open. It's good. Now let's check the roof. In the fire. Now we're gonna check if the roof is gonna open or not. What's up, man? Kid? Yeah. Okay. 